hello hello youtube i hope everyone is doing well today let me know in the comment section how your day is going mine is going good i can't complain i am home i've got socks on my feet because it's a bit chilly outside i've just boiled the water for some tea so i'm about to get into a relax mode so that's how my day's going i'm doing good let me know how you're doing in the comment section down below anyway um someone <laughs> Who I think is not doing good though is Mr. Dr. Dumi, you know, the praised gospel singer of the South African nation, the guy who has many hit songs, one of them being Nothing Without You, Without You, You Are the Air That I Breathe, Can't Live Without You without you <laughs> ah. anyway <laughs> guys what do you think about my singing <laughs> it's so forced oh my gosh anyway this isn't about my singing it's about dr dumelo is that even his full name i'm not sure i don't think it is um but dr dumi and his wife have been arrested for doing shenanigans with the brazilian lottery um, I don't exactly know what they did. I don't have all the full details about it. Um, I don't want to talk about the details of that. What I do want to talk about, though, is how we tend to put celebrity Christians on a very high pedestal. And we praise them and we idolize them and we think that they are what we should strive to be in life. Um, in terms of Christianity and I just want to say that I think that that is so toxic and so negative for people to think because the moment that celebrity Christian does something wrong then it's like what the hell is going on how could that person like yeah how could that person but that person's human we are all men of sin we all sin we all make mistakes i mean some mistakes are a bit crazier than others messing around with the lottery system in another country is not your average sin but the point of what i'm trying to say is that it's not healthy for us or for whichever christians or just people in general to look at other christians pastors gospel singers whoever it may be and think wow that is perfection i need to be like that person because we don't know what's going on in their lives we don't know what's happening behind closed doors they may be going through some dark stuff they may be owners of strip clubs they may be stealing the money that you're sending to them they may be laundering money they may be i don't know watching porn at night they may be stealing from old women and kids they may be swearing f bombs s bombs a bomb c bombs all the alphabet letter bombs behind closed doors they may be having affairs with their multiple spouses i mean we don't know what goes on behind closed doors so we shouldn't think that they are the alpha and the omega because there is only one and that is god and god's character is the character we should strive to follow not these celebrity christians and it makes me sad to see that Dr. Dumi has done something so bad because I had high hopes for him to show that Christian people are cool because I regard him as a really cool guy. I think he's young and he's hip and he's whatever and you know Christians need to be seen as relevant and not these old-fashioned boring people who are so judgmental. Um, so I liked Dr. Dumi. I liked his songs. I was vibing with them. And then to see him do this really makes me sad. Um, and it makes me sad because I think, why did he have to do that? Is he going through something? And I don't want to be judgmental. I want to have empathy. But whoa, dude. 
it's out there for the whole world to see and everyone's criticizing you and everyone's condemning you so i hope he's okay but he's in the custody of the hawks right now so i have no idea how he's doing plus like i said i don't have all the facts and all the information so i also don't want to say too much on that in case i get some things wrong what i'm talking about is just my own feelings and opinions and assumptions that may be false um if you know more details about the situation let me know in the comment section down below and yeah guys just moral of this whole thing the point to my whole story is that follow god and don't follow people because people make mistakes and people can lead you astray no matter how perfect they seem to be so follow the character of god idolize god appreciate god want to be like god and not your joyce mayors and your td jakes and your dr doomies because they're just human like us as well they're no better than us it's just that they've got more num more money in their bank accounts and their name is a bit more famous <laughs> it's a bit more well known um in the media and in society so they might they may have a few whew, i really can't speak today they may have a few more things on earth than we do but that doesn't mean that spiritually they are better and if you keep god's word in your heart then you will always be in the right path so that's my preaching of today <laughs> nothing without you without you <laughs> oh my gosh do you think i should also become a gospel singer with this voice <laughs> anyway guys um have a good day further or evening or morning i don't know what the time is where you are at but enjoy the rest of the next 24 hours of your life until my next video is uploaded bye oh and don't forget to subscribe please that's important as well <laughs> bye